Good morning and welcome to day three of the Naked Mass Journal, which I'm having a ball with. It's awfully early here for me. It's only 9.45, but I got up early. I'm watching Cash Cab, and I got so excited about, you know, talking on the web, which is really cool. I think today I'll tell you a little bit more about the Naked Nest. It's uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and we bought the land, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago now. When we bought it, it was just an empty plot, nothing on it but dirt. Um, and now we have about three or four hundred trees, and we spend a lot of time and money watering them. We love it. It's like a little mini oasis. We enclosed it with a six foot, five foot, six foot privacy fence, and we really try to stay secluded. We are nudists, so we don't. We're not exhibitionists, so we really do try to stay private. And um, we have quite a few animals. We have a lot of chihuahuas. Um, we actually had seven or eight until last week. We've lost two or three um, recently. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of cats. They hang out in the garage. Um, we're redoing a patio, which just seems to be taking forever. The construction workers are here some days. Some days they're not. It's going on a year. We've been working on it. Oh, well, look, there's my hubby. Hi, Steve. Hello. It's day three of the journal. And I've already told them, well, our workers did come. They stayed for about an hour and then disappeared. Anyway, I'm redecorating a porch. I read an article in Good Housekeeping, and it said, this is how you can redecorate your porch without spending money. So I found a lot of things here on the property, and I just kind of redid the whole thing. And, you know, as the patio gets closer to being done, I'll flash it on the camera and let you see. But you can't see the naked nest until the porch is complete. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go lay in the sun. I have a girlfriend coming over today who I know from the literacy program, which I used to volunteer at. And just so you know, one in five adults can't read past fifth grade level, which is a crime. So if you know anyone that can't read or is struggling to read, give them a helping hand. Peace out. Have a good day.